Hey everyone, it's me ps 33 here we are today on Convoy continuing the Black Ops glitching series. So we're going to begin at this corner as always, we're going to start out by getting outside the map and then later on we'll be showing you all the stuff inside the map like secret rooms and all that kind of cool stuff as well as a bunch of roofs outside the map. So we've got a lot of cool stuff on this map, it's a lot of glitches on this map, like a lot of different rooms and breaches and all that. Pretty cool. Convoy is typically usually an easy map to get outside of. You usually do in this corner over here, it seems to be the most easiest. You can knife someone outside the map too, so it's okay. Typically you go through the wall rather than the road. Once you go over here, just carefully make your way along the edge, don't go over, and it should be all okay. But luckily now, after Convoy, we pretty much got all the hard, big, long maps out of the way, so editing should go much quicker. It was just Stadium, Convoy, and Berlin Wall were just big maps, like... Do not like editing them, <laughs> especially Stadium. That one was just insane. I've never. I, this probably beat Havana. I thought Havana was gonna be the longest video. Apparently not. So now, once you're over here on the road, there's a few walls and get on top of. Just kind of showing them. Nothing too special. But we're gonna start out by kind of just going over in this direction. We're gonna make our way all the way 360 around the map. We're gonna be coming down here in a second to do a breach into a secret room to the jail room. You have to breach it on when you're outside the map, not inside the map. But first, we're going to be getting on top of this roof. So just make like, uh, probably about a four stack, I'm guessing. I'm just kind of guessing here. You got one care package, two care package, and I think the other one failed, so yeah. Just going to make a bit more, and then I'm good. Should only need two more, but might throw three just me on the safe side. But, so ending should go a lot more quicker. So it should be coming quicker. So hopefully we can get them all up before Black Ops 2. I'm starting to worry a tiny bit. But I'm kind of thinking like last few maps aren't all that bad like when you think about it like silos got maybe like two secret rooms It's when you're like trying to like get all the secret rooms and like piece them together It's like the hardest part when it's just maps are like all outside the map. It's pretty easy Like stockpile there's not much silo. There's not much hazard. There's not much However, they are awesome maps, but there's just not much to them. So I'm not too worried about them It's just these other ones were all over the place and I had like it was just all separate, like trying to like look through these like huge long videos trying to find stuff. So as you can see, once you're on top of this roof, you can make just another simple two stack and get on top of the top part of the roof. You can also plant your tack up here. You can't go on the entire roof because part of it is buried and it's connected to the map. As you can see on the map, that's kind of where the barrier starts. But instead of going on top of the building, come on over here, right in this corner, and start begin to breaching. You kind of want to breach the wall to the left of me. So we're going to start going through this wall and kind of took my friend a while to clue in here. I think I ended up sending him back into the map somehow. At least he accused me of doing it. I don't know if I actually did. But oh that was perfect care package. As you can see a nice beautiful slanted one. There's no reason this shouldn't work. That's why I was kind of mad at the time that he was coming down. Just kind of sitting there. I don't know what he was doing. But he should hop over here in a second. Then when I do I pretty much breach in the first knife I'm pretty sure. Yeah because I knew that one care package was an automatic one. It was easy. So in here, it's just like a little jail jail cell room. It's kind of connected to the map. You can see it from inside the map. There's just no way of breaching it because it's kind of inside. Unless you're gonna like some kind of pull some crazy move by throwing a care badge to the doorway. The only time I did that was on Mall for Two on Storm. It's like the only time I've ever done that, which was pretty awesome. Getting inside that see room on Storm that we uploaded was awesome. Now, once you're over here, we're gonna start going around the map. Hopefully, we can just kind of like just kind of check the ground. We always want to check for real ground. The easiest way to do is just lay down sideways, and then you'll actually feel it. But as I don't even know why I bother, because when you're looking at the texture on the ground right now, you can so easily tell by looking at it what's real and what's not. So I don't even know why I bother doing that. So I had to kind of come back here because I want to try something again. I just kind of want to show you guys. You only have to do go here and set, to save yourself some care about. Just jump on the ledge on the side of the building. There's a small ledge here. Just save yourself some time. But remember this spot because there is a secret room kind of underneath me, right to the left of me. It's kind of like underneath and to the left of this building. I could probably jump in it right now by just kind of jumping down and hooking it in. But instead, I'm going to go over there first, get my tack down, and then work my way back. I just want to make sure you guys know that because sometimes the video might get kind of like all over the place. Because I'm not really sure how well the editing is going when I'm like going like from place to place. It feels like I'm always like confusing you guys or something. So. Make your way on over here. Hopefully you guys are still liking these glitches. Like I I always love Black Ops glitches. I know a lot of people like them. I wish we could have done open lobbies. I would have loved doing that. That's like one of the things I missed absolute most is actually like playing with people that were actually subscribed to us and all that. Like I miss going into a lobby and people actually like know us and like they would like we would help them. Like I just like love helping people. I don't know why. Just something like I always love doing. 
Like I like I added like a guy not too long ago on um PS3 taught him to the care package glitch and now apparently he knows it pretty well, so which is awesome. Happy for him. So when you come over here, like I said, this little secret room I was talking about, this little spot underneath the map here, surprise me to stop below the death there. I don't even remember how I accidentally found this. I think I found it for some reason trying to jump somewhere. And I felt something, I don't know. So I actually know I might even from spectating my old ground. So working over here, make a three stack, jump on this wall if you want to kinda of like go on the roof, but if not you can just jump inside the room. Just kind of a cool little thing to do if you're kind of like out here, you might as well do it in the meantime. And there's a huge building that we're going to be getting on, on after this, as well as I'm going to show you all the cars you can hop on. Pretty cool out there. But as for this, I'm pretty much on Convoy right now. I got like the next map I'm editing, which I think is Hotel. Hotel should be an easy upload. Actually, no, there's quite a few reefs on it. Never mind, I'm thinking about it now. It's like four, five, six, no, six. Six of your rooms I'm thinking of at the top of my head right now, I'm pretty sure. As well as some cool little things, because you got like behind the stage, you got under the stage, you got the room attached to the stage. You got the two rooms where the dogs come out of. And you got under it, kind of. Hotel is like the only map you can't really get out of, which is kind of sad. It's like the only map you cannot get out of, because like... Technically, if I could reach a building that was outside the map that was real, yeah, I could, but there had to be a certain height, obviously, because it's death barrier in the sky and all that hassle and whatnot. So it's kind of a bit of an issue when it comes to, like, trying to get outside a hotel. You can't lay under the map anywhere. I know where the real ground is below the stadium, I still can't do it. And we'll also be showing you, like, the lagging and the elevators and whatnot to get underneath them. But, obviously, it's going to be harder for Xbox. They need a leg switch. But, over here, make it, like, a nice little 7 to 8 stack. Get on top of this big roof here. It's all real. Pretty big roof, too. It's, I like it. And you, if, if you need attack, just kind of throw them on the roof where they would kind of, like, get stuck. That's how I end up getting my attack up here. But, as for all these commentaries, I'm getting kind of sick of them. I'm getting, like, so tired when I'm actually, like, like speaking, like, the entire time. I just find it boring, like I know when I watch YouTube videos, I hate watching videos that just kind of like don't have commentary, like I enjoy it, but right now I feel like I'm getting a headache, I don't know why, maybe I'm dehydrated or something, like I feel like I'm getting a headache too, don't know why, maybe I am, but I'll probably be working out here in a second, so, uh, maybe I'll get some energy into me, but as for this, you kind of have to like dive into it, it's like a little secret room in there, it's really awkward, you actually have to dive into it, you can crouch in it, it's just a huge pain in the ass, so, Instead, just kind of just run, like, and just dive into it. It's, like, the best way to actually do it. And when you're over here, you make a three stack, get on top of this roof, and we're going to be showing you this little, like, um, shipment container that you can get on top of that's connected to the back of this truck. Just get, like, one simple care badge. That's all you need, and then just simply jump on top. There's a bit of a barrier on it. It's really odd. I don't know why this one's real out of all, and the rest of them are, like, barriers that, like, pass the sky barrier, so it's not even possible. So, pretty much that's about it. Now we're going to be going back inside the map. We're going to be showing you the first room, which is the pool room. We just got like a little pool in it. It's nothing too exciting. It's kind of small, but it's still nice in there, I guess you could say. I personally don't like this bridge because it's a really awkward corner. As you can see that little like ground height difference. I really do not like getting inside this room. It took us the longest out of all of them. Actually, no, the roof probably took up about maybe a bit longer, actually. Roof one's another difficult one, so I'm just going to speed up this because I took a while to breach this, too. I almost looked like I almost flew out and I managed to actually kind of hang on to it like sometimes when you actually are in a care badge it might show that you're actually on top of the care badge but they're in the real situation you're actually inside it to make sure don't jump when that happens instead try to move forward if you can't move forward that's usually the case or if you ask your friend if you're actually inside the care badge they can actually see and tell you the truth if you're on top or not sometimes it will show it will appear that you're on top of the care badge you really are not which can make it really hard to awkwardly knife because you don't even know where you're supposed to be aiming. So you're going to be aiming forward when they're really above you. It's really awkward. It, doesn't, it happens occasionally. Sometimes it usually fixes itself, especially when someone jumps on you. But I just want to let you guys know that it does happen. So the next second room is here, right on top of the little corner of this like stair platform. It's kind of a little small secret room underneath the map, kind of, in like behind me. So... Get, get over here, get a care bag, get some friends going. By the way, if you don't really know who the www person is as a person, it's uh, XI Forsaken. I think his account kind of got banned on Black Ops, so he kind of had to make a new one, and he was just bored that day. He just made a retarded name. So <laughs> that's who that is, if you're wondering. And who's calling me on Skype in the middle of my commentary? That's annoying. Close that. Alright. <laughs> Getting people calling me on Skype. I don't know why I'm in there calling unless they kick me out because I'm not responding, maybe. But, um, so once you're in here, 
I don't like I don't even know why it's still hanging on. It's kinda awkward when you're in this situation when you're on the other side of the wall and you can't see your friends. It's kinda awkward. It kind of it's a bit of a problem when you're trying to get in because it doesn't really like register a knife lunge at all. So I don't even know how I managed to get the thing he ended up just jumping on my head and ended up getting knocked in like that. Perfect. So when you're down here, it's a nice little cool spot. I like it, but nothing too special like a stadium hockey rink kind of secret room or a crisis warhead room. Nothing special like that, but it's still pretty cool. Now this next secret room, it's not really a secret room. It's kind of a secret area because you're getting on top of the roof next to the pool, basically. Which is a nice little building. It wasn't this one wasn't found by us at all. It was found by guys that contacted us and we made a video of it a long time ago. I think it was at the very start of our UBA production channel actually. But wow, that's care badge was awkward. That happens a lot in this area actually. Never by the way, never try to breach with a vertical. It does not have worked that well. I had one work my entire time of care badge breaching, and I actually had a jump and knife at the same time. It was really awkward. I actually had a jump knife to get up. That's a first ever. It's just verticals. The only way they actually breach you is if they solo breach you and they kind of like tip into you. That's the only time they work. Other than that, you have to have a horizontal, slanted, or stacked or something. Like, they just don't work. I don't know what it is about verticals. They just suck. So don't even bother them. But this one took me so long to get inside of. But when you go through it, you should land on the roof, which is pretty awesome. Just gotta be careful. And I don't know why. I almost like I got shot back in there for a second. Get on top of the whole roof as well as you can get go down this little grass area. I'll show you here in a second, which is pretty cool. And um, by the way, feel free to leave some comments, share the video, and all that, because we really appreciate what you guys think of us and how we're going about it. Because we'll always reply to you. If you guys have any problems, just feel free to message us. We might not always reply to add uh, like friends and all that, because it does get repetitive. We can't do much about it, unfortunately. Like we would love like. Especially on PS3, we would love to. It's just when we add people on PS3, like it limits the amount of time that we can actually find glitches and all that. Because then we have to like play with everyone else. But we, I have like I want to try to add more people. Like I literally on my PS3 account, I literally just deleted probably like 80 friends of my friend request. That's probably why I've already gotten 60 since I deleted them already. Pretty filling up pretty quick, <laughs> but. Funny thing is, people still add my other account on PS3, which is PS3 3 I haven't been on that account in ages. It's just kind of the same as my YouTube name, so everyone decided to add it. But it's really not my real one. And that's just kind of like my other one I had for like tryouts and whatnot a long time ago. I haven't been on it in ages. I should really go on it to make sure I message people, but I know I'm going to have like a thousand messages, so I'm not even bother. But as for friend requests, I don't always message them back just because I can't feel bad saying no all the time. To be honest, but I'll always reply to you guys. If you guys have any questions regarding glitching or need help or anything, I'll always message you back. No problem at all. I'm not like jerks like other jerks on YouTube. However, I am gonna try to add more people this time around on Black Ops 2, hopefully play with you guys more often. So I really like actually like because I'm doing these videos for you, like I enjoy the most part I have loved about YouTube is actually helping you guys. So I know how much jerks of people can be on YouTube and I like being able to help people. It's just who I am, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I just enjoy it a lot. So, hopefully that'll come out like a lot more during Black Ops 2. But here's the final secret room. It's just like a little hut in your garbage dumpster, basically. Small little thing. But anyways, hopefully you guys are enjoying this, and I'll see you guys later. And please subscribe to see more glitches like this.